Hi, Assalamualaikum. Okay, today we're going to do the discussion on past few question on chapter 4, plan layout. And these are the question for the plan layout in which total for 10 marks. And they give us the task until A to J and then they give us the task time in minutes and also the precedence. And this is useful to construct the precedent diagram. And then we need to calculate using the formula for numbers of workstation and then we need to determine the actual workstation and also we need to assign the task for each workstation and finally calculate the efficiency and then we have to change on the demand and need to rebalance the line and determine the new efficiency so let's do the first one construct the precedent diagram so we have the task so we know what is the connection between the task? So we start with A, 8 minutes, and then A goes to B, C, and D. Okay, don't forget to put the time here. Then we have B going to E, then we have C and E going to F. Then we have D going to G. Then we have G going to H. And then F and H going to I. And finally, I going to J. So we have completed the precedence diagram. And don't forget to put all the time under each task. Okay, now we need to calculate the cycle time. Cycle time means that the time to make one unit TV. So they given us 120 TV for 40 hours work per week. So time to make one unit of TV. So we have 40 hours times 60 minutes divide by 120 TV. So one TV it takes about 20 minutes. Okay, the cycle time. So once we have the cycle time, then we can calculate how many workstations using this formula. So first, the formula is sum of all tasks in which here. So we have task A to J. We sum, we got 62. And then CT, the cycle time, we have calculated 20. So we need to plug in into the equation or formula. So we get 3.1. So remember, this is a workstation. So we need to round up okay so we get four workstation and now we need to assign okay to find the actual workstation so we need to have this table so we done the precedent diagram we have the cycle time so we open the first workstation and always start with the cycle time 20 minutes okay every workstation you want to open you have to start with 20 minutes due to the cycle time so eligible only we can start a so a so we sign a tt is a task time eight minute so 20 minus eight we get 12. okay next what are the tasks that eligible after a so we have b c and d but which one to choose okay so go for higher one okay we don't want to waste any any task time so we assign c c task time is 7 12 minus 7 is 5 then the next task that available if is b d so we only have b and d for the eligible so we choose since we have five balance so we can choose b four okay so five minus four we have one minute so can we assign other tasks? No, because we only one left. So we close the workstation and remember to put this dotted line A, C, B as a workstation 1. So A, C, B. We start with the workstation 2 again. Fresh cycle time, 20 minutes. And now we can choose only D and E. So since E is 7, so I take 7, plus time for E, so 20 minus 7 is 13. 
Okay, now E is done. So, what's next? We can only choose D and F. So, D and F, since we have 13, so we can choose, we choose F, okay? Because we have balance of 13. So, F is 11. So, 13 minus 11, we have 2. So, do we have option for the balance? No, because it's more than 2. So, we close the workstation. First, we need to put the workstation dotted line. So, E and F in one workstation, in which workstation 2. Then, we start with new workstation 3, in which we have the choice of D on D, I. It cannot go through yet because it's connected to H. So we have D only. So D is 3. So 20 minus 3 is 17. Then we only can proceed with G. So G does time is 2. So 17 minus 2, we have 15. Then we have to proceed with H first. So H is does time is 8. So 15 minus 8 is 7. And we know that we can still fit I. Okay. We have balance of 7 here. I is 5. So 7 minus 5 is, is 2. Can we put in J? No. We only have 2 balance. So we close this workstation. So we need to do the dotted line here. D, G, H, I. D, G, H, I. As one workstation. And finally, we need to open the fourth workstation with the 20 minute cycle time. So only for J. So J task type 7. So we have balance of 13. So we have completed how many workstation by assigning the task 1, 2, 3, 4. With the balance and we call it the sum of idle time is 1 plus 2 plus 2 and plus 13. We got 18 minutes. Okay, now we need to calculate efficiency. These are the formula for efficiency. Sum of all tasks. Okay, we, we know that the sum of all tasks just now is 62. Cycle time is 20. And it's the number of workstation. We got, we uh, done here. 1, 2, 3, 4. 4. So, times 100%, we get 77.5%. Okay, we're done with question 3. Now, to complete 10 marks. Uh, they give us the new demand for the TV is 100 units per 40 hours per week. So we need to recalculate the new cycle time in which 40 times 60 minutes over 100. This is the new demand. So we get 24 minutes. The cycle time has changed from 20 to 24. And now we just uh, try to assign. Okay, how to rebalance again? So we have 24 so 8 and then plus 7 15 15 and then we can add in the 4 here 19 and we can add 3 here okay 22 and we have a g here so we have complete 24 here then we try the next one 7 plus 8 uh, plus 11 so we go 18 18 plus 8 here. Okay, we have more than that. So, we stop at, at this one. We cannot include I yet because H is not done yet. So, we only can include E and F with total of 18. Then, the last one, we can group together 8 plus 5 and plus 7. Okay. So, now this time, when the cycle time change, so we only have 3 workstation. So, the efficiency... Some of all tasks have not changed, still 62, but the cycle time has changed to 24, and then the end have become 1, 2, 3, so it's 3 here, times 100%, we got 86.1, these are the new efficiency. Alright, so that's how you answer the question for plan layout. Okay, now we do the January 2020 question, so they give us task A to H, and then the task time in minute. And this one is the predecessor in which we can construct the precedent diagram. So again, they give us information. Hourly output, 33.33 units means that hourly output, one hour 
they produce 33.33 units. Okay, so let's start construct the precedent diagram first. So we have all the tasks and then we connect the tasks. Okay, so A goes to B, B goes to C, and then B goes to D also, and then B goes to E. Okay, then we have C going to F. We have D and E going to G. And then F and G going to H. So don't forget the task time for the each task. So we complete the precedent diagram. Now calculate the cycle time. So we know that 33.33 units for one hour. Time to make one unit is 60 minutes. Over 33.33 unit, we get 1.8 minute for one unit. Okay, the cycle time. Then determine the workstation and assign task to each workstation. So now we know that the formula for workstation, sum of all tasks. So we can sum it here. All tasks, we got 6. The CT is 1.8. So we get 3.33. Uh, so we need to run up to 4 workstation. So we need to assign. So again, the first workstation, the cycle time is 1.8 just now. So only can start with A. So assign A. So 1.8 minus 1.4, we got 0 0.4. So can we fit the next one? B? No, because we only have 0 0.4 left. So we need to close the workstation and do the dotted line. Okay, now we're done with the workstation 1. Let's do workstation 2. New cycle time in which we have 1.8. The only task can fit in is B. So B is 0 0.5, we have 1.3. And then task that can go C, D, E, but I think I will choose C first because if I take E, then I have problem because it won't be enough. So I will combine these two later on. So I choose D later. So C 0 0.6. So I got 1.3 minus 0 0.6 with 0 0.7 balance. And then definitely I will choose D to complete the workstation. So without any waste, we can close and do the workstation B, C, and D. And then we open the new workstation, 3, 1.8 cycle time. Then we can choose either E and F. So I go with E first, 0 0.8. Then 1.8 minus 0 0.8, we got 1. And then choice of F and G, I will take G. Because we have one here, so no balance for the other time. So we can close this workstation by having E and G. And now we know that the last workstation for 1.8, we start. And then we have to go with F first, 0 0.5. 1.8 minus 0 0.5, we have 1.3. And finally, H is 0 0.5. So we have the balance of 0 0.8. So now we can close this workstation. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4 workstation with the idle time sum of 0 0.4 plus 0 0.8. So we get 0 0.2. And now calculate the efficiency. So the formula efficiency, we need to sum up all the tasks. We get 6. And the second time, we calculated before 1.8. And we have 4 workstation. And time 100, we get 83.3%. So, we're done with that question. And now, we try to do the June 2018, in which they give us the task A to F, and then the performance or the task time in minute, and these are the immediate predecessor. And we also get the productive time available per day is 400 minutes, and demand for per day is 100. So, we know that one day, they give us 400 and also, the demand for one day is 100. So, we can calculate cycle time here. Okay. So, the cycle time we can find and then we need to draw the precedent diagram. Calculate efficiency. Calculate the theoretical minimum number of station. And last, determine the total idle time. If the performance time B and D, they've changed to 1. So, find the cycle time. Task to make one unit. So the time will be 400 per day and then 100 units per one day they're making. So one unit, they will take about 4 minutes to complete.
Okay, now we draw the precedent diagram. Okay, we sum up all the tasks. The second time, we calculate earlier. So, A going to B, A going to C, A going to D. And then, B and C going to E. D and E going to F. So, don't forget the time. So, we've done the precedent diagram. Now, we want to calculate the efficiency of the line. Sum of all tasks, we have 12 minutes. The cycle time, we have 4 minutes, but we have not yet do the assign. So, we need to assign the task. So, first workstation, we always start with A. So, A is 2, and then we have choice of B, C, D. And we straight take the D because we don't want to waste. Okay, because 4 minus 2, we got 2, so choose D direct. So, we don't have any idle time. We do the workstation and then go for the second workstation. Start again with the 4 minute cycle time. Now, we have the choice of B and C. So, we choose B. 4 minus 3 is 1 and definitely will you choose the C to complete the workstation. So, is there any balance? No. 1 minus 1 is 0. Now, we hope. Open for the third workstation. E, we know is 1. So, 4 minus 1 is 3. And then F is 3. So, 3 minus 3 is 0. So, we close the third workstation. Is there any idle time? No, we have 0 idle time. Can we calculate efficiency? Yes. 12 is the sum of all tests. CT is 4 minutes time. N is 1, 2, 3. Okay, so we get 100% efficiency. And now we calculate the theoretical number of minimum workstation. We're using this. So sum of all tasks, just now is 12 minutes. CT is 4 minutes. So 12 divided by 4 is 3 workstation. And they do some changes. So B before this is 3. They change to 1 minute. And D before this is 2 minutes. They change it to 1 minute. So, we need to, to do the reassignment again. So, for the workstation 1, we can start with A. So, 4 minus 2 is 2. And then since you can start with any because they have same value. So, this one, they choose D. Okay. You can do any combination. You can choose A, B, D. Okay. Or you can choose any B or C or C or D, or B and D. So, it's up to you until you get 4. So, for this one, I choose A and D and C. Okay. So, I don't waste any second time because we only uh, have all the tasks fill up. So, that's the first workstation. And workstation 2, we know that we can uh, include only B and E because it, if we include F, it's more than 4. So, B and E have 1, 1. So, B and in 1, so we have the balance of 2. Okay, we can put in 3. So, next one, we have to close this one and open a third workstation to only fit F. So, 4 minus 3 is 1. So, the idle time is 3. Okay, with the 3 workstation. So, that's all. We're done with the discussion. So,